Um, yes, sir. Go. All right, so we're gonna, next we're going to do some cat stances. Cat stances are a little bit more advanced. We would just want to make sure that we have everything right. We're going to do that self-correction, which means that without someone having to tell you, you should be able to know how to fix your stance and make it even better. Yes, ma'am? All right, so let's go ahead and take our left leg. That's your leg right here. We're going to turn our toes to the side. They're going to face away to the side of us, just like this. Instead of my hand pointing forward, it's going to point to the side, just like my foot. This other foot here, my left leg, is going to make a T, just like this. One foot is in the middle or the instep of the other. I'm going to bend my back leg. I'm going to put all my weight on my back leg, like 98.7%. And I'm going to take my leg that's in front here, and I'm going to put my heel where my toes are. Because I want the distance in between my feet, if I turn sideways, the distance in between this foot here and my front foot should be one of my own foot length. If I have all my weight on my back foot, I should easily be able to do the Karate Kid pose. Who can hold it? Hold it, hold it, hold it. Show me your balance. One leg, hold it longer. Hold it longer. Can you do a kick in there? Ayah. All right, put that foot down. Very nice. So I want all my weight on my back leg. Let's try it with this other one. Let's shake it out a little bit. We're going to take our right leg. That's this leg on this side. I'm going to turn those toes towards the side. I'm going to take this other foot here, the one that isn't turned towards the side, and I'm going to make the letter what? The letter T, just like that. And where my big toe is, I'm going to put my heel. I want my heel raised about one inch up off the mat. I like to pretend I have Fred the Mouse. Fred the Mouse is my friend, so I don't want to squish him, but I don't want to let him go either, so I'm going to have it up about an inch up off the ground with all my weight on my back foot. You should be able to show me the Karate Kid pose with some ease. Woo! <laughs> all right. I see so, way I'm doing it. Nice. So if I'm doing this, if I want to move from one cat stance to the other, I'm going to go into something that they call in ballet. It's called fifth position. So I'm going to take my foot that's in front. Could you turn to the side sport? So I side warm this camera yeah. so they can see it. My foot that's in front here is going to turn. I should be able to see the inside of your foot. Your toes are going to face the opposite way from your back foot. So when my back foot, Miss Kara's toes are going towards you, on her front foot, her toes are going to turn away from you. And I'm going to put that heel down. My foot that's in the back now comes up and just takes its place. So now I'm in a cat stance with my other leg forward. I'm going to shift my weight onto this leg now, and this other leg should be up, heel about one inch up off the mat. Very nice. Let's do it again. So my foot that's in front turns, so I should be able to see the inside of your foot. I'm going to put my weight on this foot as I take my foot that's in the back, and it's going to come up in front. Making sure that we keep the distance in between our feet to be about one of our own foot length with my heel and inch up off the mat with all my weight on my back leg. Yes, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. All right. Attention stance. Attention stance, ma'am. Oh, right, shake it out. Shake it out just a little bit. Woo. Everyone's talking. Everyone's talking. <laughs> All right. So, 